When I first arrived in the Tri-Cities, one of the first high school games I covered was a Pasco boys soccer game. One player who caught my eye was a then sophomore who had more skill than someone his age should. And last season, his younger brother, then a freshman, joined the team and he was equally as impressive. This year, a third sibling is now playing varsity as a freshman. But what may be more impressive is not how they play the game, but what they play for. Pasco senior Emilio Moraz Rodriguez kicks a soccer ball like you sign your name, with ease and without thought. Uh, soccer for me is my life. Uh, it's my way out of a lot of stuff, and I just love soccer, man. It's not just a passion to Emilio. Soccer is the passion of his younger brothers, Jesus and Kevin, as well. Soccer is actually what kept us all close together as a family, and we all, we all, we all got the habit of not only being something we wanted to do, but something we needed to do. And for me, soccer world, it's everything. It's like a family to me and my brothers, and we want to make something big out of it, and hopefully we can one day. That someday isn't so unlikely. The Pasco Bulldogs are undefeated in league play, and a big reason for that is the Miraz Rodriguez brothers. They're all hard workers. They all love the game. Uh, clearly, and if you watch any of them play, you see that. Uh, the other, the, the cool thing about them too is they're all totally different players. In six seasons as Bulldogs head coach, Matt Potter has never seen skills like this from siblings. I've, I've not seen something like it. I've seen brothers, a couple, but uh, three I've not seen. Uh, so it's definitely very unique. What's also unique is the way the brothers go about the game. Call it flair, call it swagger, Either way, it's effective and entertaining. A lot of people can do those things when we go out here right now. Um, in the course of a game, he has done some things that I've not seen by anybody. <laughs> film is great. Film, film on these guys, sometimes it's frustrating, certainly. But beyond all the tricks, the goals, and the wins, the brothers play for something more meaningful, more personal. We do some uh, school, home, and then our life isn't the greatest, you know? But soccer always gives us that time to be the great, be the greatest, someone to look at you, someone to congratulate you and tell you how good you are, some good you did. And that's what I think really motivates us. Emilio's not just the eldest, he's truly his brother's keepers on and off the field. He's the guy with the responsibility for those, for those younger two, he takes on that role and, and uh, I've told him many times I'm proud of him for taking on that role. With their father out of the picture, the boys are being raised by family but they also help raise each other. They're my responsibility and I have to do what I have to do so they could be the great, the greatest. The brothers are first generation Americans born in the Northwest and raised in Mexico. Their mother lives there now and has never seen them play high school soccer. We hope our mom is good and she watches us and is proud of us because she never got the chance to tell us and we love my mom. And that love drives each of them to be better. Because I know what they can be and I know they could achieve farther than what I can. I want them to be great in school and I want them to go far in soccer and mostly like better in life. Yeah, he made me better. I want to make my little brother go better as me and that I'm happy to play together with my best brothers and as my best friends. They're, they're, my, they're my family. There's no other brother coming up through the pipeline. No, I wish. <laughs> I wish. Trust me, I've asked. <laughs> I've been asking and uh, yeah maybe someday when their sons come back, but uh, yeah, I wish.